What's up guys, Alec here with Veed, and today I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can hard code your subtitles into your videos. So in this day and age, subtitles are a pretty big deal on online video content for social media. Now, the only problem is, is that a lot of social media platforms don't actually accept SRT files, which are subrip subtitle files. You have Facebook, YouTube, and a few others that do accept these SRT files, but platforms like TikTok and Instagram, which are both very video focused, don't actually have the possibility to upload SRT SRT files, so you can't have subrip subtitle files on those videos. The only way to do it is to render in the subtitles into the video file, which is called hard coding subtitles. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you two different ways you can do it. One offline using the software called VLC Media Player, and then an online method where you can use Veed. And we're gonna start with the first one. So I'm just gonna jump over to my computer. And now if you don't already have VLC Media Player, it's a free video player that you can download just by heading over to their website. So I already have VLC on my computer. So that's going to be the first step is just going to be to download and open up VLC media player. Once you've opened up VLC media player, you're going to want to head up over to media and then click on stream. Once we're in stream, we're going to add the file that you want to hard code the subtitles to. So we're going to select this video right here. And then you're going to want to click this use a subtitle file. And this is where we're going to choose our subrip subtitle file. So our SRT file which is this one, so I'm gonna open it up. And you do wanna make sure that your SRT file is in its final form due to the fact that once you hard code subtitles into a video, you can no longer make changes to those subtitles on that video or to that video. It basically renders them in, it bakes these subtitles into the video. So it's just as if the subtitles were in front of the camera lens when you were filming your clips. So now you have selected your video and your SRT file, you want to click on stream at the bottom. Here, you just want to make sure you click next. And here is the important part. Now the next step here is to make sure you have file selected in the drop down menu and we're going to click on add and this is basically just choosing the destination output for our video file. So what we're going to do now is just click on browse and what I'm going to do is just rename it hard coded subtitles final. Okay, and then we're just gonna make sure we add the extension .mp4 on the end, and then I'm just gonna hit save. So now I've got the so now I've got the destination for where my file is going to end up. So I'm just gonna click on next, and this is the important part. When we are on this little window, you want to make sure you've got activate transcoding. Then you're gonna click on this little spanner next to the drop down menu, and you're going to want to head over to the subtitles tab and make sure that subtitles are activated, and you've also ticked this box which is overlay subtitles on the video. Now, when you go back to encapsulation, I want to encapsulate my video as an MP4 file. So you can also select that. I'm just gonna hit save. And then we're gonna do next. And then this is where I just hit stream. Now my video is basically going to play over in the background or the bar, as you can see on the bottom, and just went all the way through. And that was basically VLC Media Player hard coding the subtitles into the video and rendering it. Now, a important step here is I've tried doing this many times when I was trying to learn it before the tutorial, is to actually quit VLC Media Player. I found it on a forum. You actually have to go to media and then quit to here. Because if you click on the cross in the corner of VLC Media Player, it doesn't save the file properly. So now if I go to my windows, as we can see right here, I've got hard coded subtitles final. But if I open it, let's just open it now with the VLC Media Player. As you can see, my subtitles are rendered straight into the video. And if I just show you, if I open it, um, let's just do it with the normal. So there you go, again, the subtitles are there. That is how I hard code subtitles into an MP4 file using VLC Media Player. And the next way I'm going to show you is using an online tool called Veed.io. So we're gonna head over to Veed.io. And this again is a very simple process. When we're on Veed.io, I'm just gonna click create a new project. And then from here, I'm just gonna upload the video that I want to hard code subtitles to. Once I've uploaded my video, I now have the option to actually upload my SRT file, to so upload my subtitles. If I don't already have one, I can create one from scratch or use Veed's automatic subtitle tool, which is absolutely amazing. If I just click auto subtitle, and then I click the language that I'm speaking in in the video, I just click start, and then Veed will take anywhere between a couple of seconds to a couple of minutes, and will automatically transcribe all of the audio from your video into text and turn that text into subtitles. So now as we can see here on the left, I have my subtitle files. So now what I'm gonna do is I actually don't like the layout of this one, with Veed, it's very easy to customize and style your subtitles. So let's say I wanted them a little bit bigger, um, but I don't actually want this black bar behind them. So I can choose a preset. Let's just say this one right here. I can't see these ones too well, so I could either choose these yellow ones with an outline, 
or these white ones with a drop shadow, which I'm a big fan of, but you can customize them even more by making them bold, italic, or just changing the colors, for example, into pink. And then once you are happy with your subtitles, literally all you have to do is just head over to this download button, you click this download button, and then Veed is gonna start rendering your video with the subtitles hard-coded into it. It's gonna render the video with the subtitles baked in, rendered in, burnt into the video, however you wanna call it. And that is how you hard code subtitles into your videos. You can either use a VLC media player or you can use Veed's online subtitle tool. That being said, if you have any questions, please let us know in the comment section down below. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, please hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video.